السلام علیکم گائز ویلکم بیک ٹو سیول انجینئرز یوٹیوب چینل رمضان مبارک ٹو آل آف یو مے گاڈ برینک مور ہیپینیس ٹو یو ان دس رمضان منتھ گائز ٹوڈے ٹاپک از ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ کوانٹٹی آف اسٹیل ان آر سی سی فوٹنگ دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ اینڈ مینی اسٹوڈنٹس دے آر کنفیوز ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ کوانٹٹی آف اسٹیل ان آر سی سی فوٹنگ اوکے سو دا ٹاپک از بی بی ایس آف column footing bar bending schedule of column footing so from start to end you must watch this video to learn something new related with bbs of column footing means how to calculate quantity of steel for rcc footing guys you can see this is the top view of footing and size of the footing is 2 by 2 meter right size of the footing is 2 by 2 meter and you can see its cross, cross section at the bottom which is inside the foundation or inside the soil guys the thickness of the footing is in which we are making steel steel box that thickness is 0.25 meter 0.25 meter is the thickness of the footing okay and here guys you can see this red color can show you distribution bar and these bars can show you main bars okay so distribution bar dia is 12 mm and center to center distance between two uh, distribution bar that is 50 uh, 150 mm okay spacing is 150 mm dia is 12 mm same for main bar which dia is 12 mm spacing is same 150 m uh, 150 uh, mm okay and the size of the footing is 2 by 2 meter okay guys you can see its width is 2 meter in this cross section also concrete cover guys sides top bottom same is 50 mm or 0.05 meter you can see 0.05 top also this one also these sides okay concrete co cover is 50 mm or 0.05 meter so let's start guys First of all a length of the footing is 2 meter you can see length of the footing is 2 meter and width of the footing is also 2 meter you can see 2 by 2 meter because this is square footing okay thickness of the footing is 0.25 meter as you can see thickness of the footing is 0.25 meter right and main bar dia is 12 mm with the spacing of 150 mm so 12 mm with the spacing of 150 mm distribution bar dia is same 12 mm with the spacing of 150 mm you can see so this spacing is spacing between main bars and distribution bar which is 150 mm okay dia is same for both distribution and main bar and now guys you can see concrete cover is 50 mm or 0.05 m okay so now let's get start how many numbers of main bars required for this footing and also how many numbers are required for distribution distribution bars and main bars numbers are required so how we can find it okay so first of all we required number of main bars so how we can find number of main bars okay because main bar and distribution bar is same here that's why because the size of the footing is same 2 by 2 meter so if this is uh, uh, if it is uh, same like rectangular so there it will be changed okay so guys number of main bars so total length so total length is guys 2 meter for main bar total length subtract concrete cover so concrete cover one side concrete cover is also second uh, second uh, side concrete cover is here okay so both is 50 mm or 0.05 meter so total length subtract concrete covers and divide by spacing c slash c spacing which is 150 mm r 0.0 0.05 0.05 meter 0.15 meter also other side 0.15 meter okay so divide by spacing plus 1 same formula okay so how we can find total length is 2 meter as you can see 2 meter okay and subtract 0.05 one side concrete cover and subtract also 0.05 and divide by 0.15 this is the spacing of uh, main bars okay two steel bars spacing so plus 1 when you do calculation 
टू सब्जेक्ट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सब्जेक्ट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव स्पेसिंग प्लस वन सो वी रिक्वायर्ड फोर्टीन नंबर ऑफ स्टील बार्स इन मेन साइड मेन बार्स वी रिक्वायर्ड फोर्टीन नंबर नाउ गाइज इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज हेयर फॉर फोर्टीन नंबर सो वन मेन बार कटिंग लेंथ वट इज द कटिंग लेंथ फॉर मेन बार सो कटिंग लेंथ ऑफ मेन बार फॉर फुटिंग दैट इज मीन्स वन स्टील बार फुटिंग वन स्टील बार लेंथ इज वट विदाउट सब्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ कंक्रीट कवर एटसेट्रा बैंड एटसेट्रा ओके सो लेंथ ऑफ बार कटिंग लेंथ ओके विच वी शुड कट फॉर द फुटिंग विच वी प्लेस इन द फुटिंग ओके एंड वी बाइंड इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ बाइंडिंग वायर राइट दैट वन सो लेंथ ऑफ बार टू मीटर सब्जेक्ट Two, because we have two side, one this side and one other side, which concrete cover is zero point zero five meter or fifty millimeter. So subject two, because two side zero point zero five is concrete cover. Plus we will plus. That's why because you can see the steel is same like this as you can see like this. Okay, so bent bar. Okay, legs. Uh, In column we have legs and this is bent bar. Okay, it is same like this. Okay, so this is steel bar shape. Okay, so two because we have two sides. One is this one and the other one is this one. So two, two and the uh, thickness is zero point two five. You can see thickness is zero point two five. Now subtract concrete cover zero point two five. One side top concrete cover. And 0.25 bottom concrete cover should be deduct. Okay, so 0.25 subtract 0.25. Top concrete cover and bottom concrete cover should be deduct from the thickness of the footing. Okay, because I need to find this length. Okay, so this is same two meter. Okay, so from the two meter we also deduct 0.25 that one. Okay, so clear your concept about this. Okay. Now, so 0.25 subtract 0.05 top concrete cover and 0.25 bottom concrete cover. Now subtract bent up bar, okay? Because uh, bent bar, you can see this is bent, okay? So the bent should be deduct like this. So this is same like circular, okay? So two because we have two bends, this one, okay? Ninety angle, okay? So from ninety angle we will bend this, okay? So two one is this one and the second one is this one. So two numbers. Okay, so two because we have two sides. Okay, and the formula is what? The formula is so two and two. Sorry, sorry, not this one. Okay, so two multiply two d, twelve d. Sorry. Okay, so twelve d. Okay, guys. So we have two numbers, right? And one is this one, and the second one is this one. So two multiply two d. So where d die of the steel bar is twelve mm, right? So it will be deduct twelve mm. So now, guys, you can see two subtract when you do calculation. 2 multiply 0.5, so it will give you 0.05. It will give us 0.1. Plus what? It should be plus. So 0.25 subtract 0.05 subtract 0.05. So you will multiply it with 2. We will get this value 0.3. Okay. Now subtract again bend two bends. Okay. So 0.0258. You can get the value from this one. Now guys, the total length of main bar become Okay, the total length, uh, the total, uh, the total cutting length become when you do uh, two subtract zero point zero one plus zero point zero point three subtract this one. So you will get the cutting length two point one seven meter. So this is the cutting length. So now, guys, total length of main bar. As you know, one cutting length of main bar multiply total numbers. So cutting length of main bar multiply total numbers. So cutting length is two point two seven. 
done. Sorry, 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 sorry. So let me use my calculator. I did mistake here, okay? So guys, you can see it should be 2.174, 2.174, okay? So 2.174 multiply what? 14 numbers. We have 14 numbers as you can see this one, right? So multiply with 14. So we required same Yes, same video. So I put it the video same. Okay. So we required 30.43 meter. 30.43 meter is required length for the main bar. So now how to calculate its total weight of main bar. So guys, total weight of main bar. As you know, we, we are using this formula D square divided by 162. So D square. So we have the die of steel bar 12 millimeters so put it here 12 millimeters square 12 square divided by 162 so you you will get the length of 1 meter 0 0.88 kg per meter so now guys you can see so 0 0.88 multiply 30.43 so you need 26.77 kgs of steel for main bars and footing so say 27 kgs steel required for main bar so now guys this is not a rectangular shape so therefore this is square shape so it means we also required 27 for distribution bars because everything is same dia is same spacing is same side is same width is same for a distribution bar okay so also plus 27 so we required what 54 kgs of steel 54 kgs steel we required for this footing right so guys this is the formula by which you can find total steel quantity for rcc footing so if you have any question about this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye